Wu Xingxiang is from the town of Pai Tiao in Danjai County, Guizhou. The name Wu Xingxiang may not be well known locally, but his nickname, Leek Root, certainly is. Leeks are a speciality of Pai Tiao. Wu Xingxiang makes dishes from the leek roots, which he sells to the local hotels and supermarkets. As in every other household here, Wu Xingxiang's family do not consider a meal to be complete without leeks. Back in 2000, Wu Xingxiang started making special leek dishes. It was all thanks to his son, who started school in the county town that year and would take leeks with him for his lunch. Gradually, Wu noticed that his son was taking more and more leek root with him each day. It turned out that he was also taking some for his classmates. This gave Wu an idea. Leeks are a perennial plant. In the Danjai area, they grow deep in the mountains wherever there is water. Leeks have strong root systems. The closer they grow to water, the stronger their roots are. Most people eat the leaves of leeks. However, in Pai Tiao, people prefer the roots. Traditionally, the roots are dried and then pickled in rice wine, which produces a refreshing flavor. Wu Xingxiang's plan to develop his processed leek was hampered by a lack of money. With only 20,000 yuan in savings and no factory or equipment, he was forced to turn to the local government for help. The authorities were impressed by his idea. They arranged loans for him and provided him with a factory. By the beginning of 2002, Wu was ready. The local farmers collected 2,500 kilograms of leek roots for him, and it was time for the processing to begin. Leek roots are ready for pickling after they have been cleaned, selected, and dried in the sun. Usually, they are cut into pieces 10 centimeters long. Then, salt and rice wine are added. By tradition, the pickling is considered finished when the leek roots have turned golden, a process that takes six months. But when Wu Xingxiang opened his storage jars after six months, he found the roots in 11 of his 50 jars had gone moldy. It was only when he was cleaning the 11 jars containing the moldy leek roots that Wu discovered what the problem was. The reason for the lower temperature, he realized, was that the 11 jars were either cracked or not sealed properly. From then on, Wu Xingxiang was much more careful about selecting the jars he used. The loss of the 11 jars of leek roots cost Wu Xingxiang 5,000 yuan. He then paid to have 1,000 paper bags made to put the leeks in. These he sold for 0.8 yuan each to the local peddlers on a trial basis. The experiment was successful and he began to think about having plastic bags made. In October 2002, he approached the local supermarket with 10,000 plastic packages of leek roots. To his disappointment, he was told the packaging didn't meet the required standard. And so all the money he had invested in having the plastic bags made was wasted. But within a few days, a trip to a nearby town restored his optimism. Wu 
and so Wu Xingxiang ordered 500 jars from the neighboring county. Before long, his leek roots contained in these jars were being stocked by the local supermarkets. Wu Xingxiang had thus succeeded in turning leek roots from a rural delicacy into a popular local speciality.